Sir Topham Hatt had rebuilt the harbor. Ships arrived every day, and Sir Topham Hatt was making lots of money, which would go to the railway. Cranky the Crane was the crane at the docks. He left the loaded cargo packages every day. One day, Gordon was puffing down the main line with the express. Express coming through, said Gordon. Then there was trouble. Gordon arrived at the station, and all the passengers were getting off. He was at the platform when Henry came down the line with a goods train. Workman shouted at Henry to stop. The signal said the line was clear, cried Henry. Look out, shouted Edward, but it was too late. Luckily, no one was hurt, but the express coaches were badly damaged. The next morning, when the engines woke up, Sir Topham Hatt was there. The express coaches are being repaired at the works, so Gordon, you will be working at the harbour until I find an engine to work there, said Sir Topham Hatt. Shunting trucks. Oh, the indignity. Shunting trucks. What a disgrace, Gordon grumbled. The harbour was very busy when Gordon arrived. Trucks were everywhere. You have a nice paint job, Gordon. Pity about your face, though. All the trucks laughed. Be quiet, said Gordon, and he shoved the truck. Temper, temper, laughed the trucks. On the other side of the harbor, there was a barge. Bull strode the barge. Last time he worked at the harbor, Gordon threw trucks into him and had him towed away to the beach. Now, fresh off the beach, he would have changed barge. Oh, hello, Gordon, called Bull strode. Bull strode went over to Gordon. You've got to be kidding me. They let you off the beach? Asked Gordon. Gordon, listen. I'm sorry about the trouble I got you into last time we met. But I've changed now. Friends? Gordon pondered. Not on your life. Once rude, always rude. Gordon left to shunt trucks. <sighs> Sighed Bullstrode. He'll come around, said his driver. Just you wait and see. Gordon spent all day pulling and shunting trucks. A changed barge my funnel, grumbled Gordon. Gordon shunted until there were no more trucks. At night, he set off for home. At that night, the water was very rough. The large bridge that crossed over the harbor was damaged. The red middle part, which held up the track, was damaged by the rough water. Bullstrode was worried. Henry will be coming through with the flying kipper. The bridge won't support his weight. I know, that old broken riser will hold it up. Bullstrode and his operator hooked up the riser. It should be safe enough. Henry was approaching fast with the trucks and crossed safely. But then there was trouble. Oh no! cried Bullstrode. The riser gave out and the middle support fell into the water. The bridge was breaking up. Then a whistle was heard. It was Gordon's. The track then gave away and fell into the water. What are we going to do? asked Bullstrode's operator. There's only one thing we can do. We have to catch him. Bullstrode plopped himself in front of the broken track. Oh, hell! cried Gordon. Bullstrode braced himself for impact. This one's gonna hurt! Bullstrode, you saved me, said Gordon. I told you I had changed, replied Bullstrode. Later, Emily brought the breakdown train to help. I'm so sorry what happened to you, said Emily. I'm sorry I was so unfriendly, said Gordon. Friends? Friends! Gordon and Bullstrode are now friends, and it certainly makes their work in the harbor a lot more fun.